Hello. Uh, today I'm going to be telling you all about procrastination, what it is, how to do it, why we do it, and how to stop doing it as much as we have been doing it. Procrastination in its simplest terms is giving priority to something when something else should have priority instead. Ways to procrastinate include checking your social media. That's pretty much the biggest, especially for our generation. And you can also be like making food, which if you're not really hungry, and you're taking a long time to make food just so you can eat and not do your work really you can also be like writing or reading a new book which is okay i guess you can say but if you really need to be writing a paper instead or reading a book for class i mean check your priorities taking a long shower or just a long cleaning ritual in general i mean yeah it's, it's nice to be clean but what are you really accomplishing when you're not getting your work done? You can be making a YouTube video or even watching a YouTube video. I may or may not be procrastinating right now, but you also may or may not be procrastinating right now. And five, cleaning your room. What? Cleaning your room is procrastination. What if it's dirty and I want to clean it? Well, what if you have a paper I do tomorrow? Why do we procrastinate, though? Procrastination happens when our prefrontal cortex, which is located right around the forehead area, fights with our limbic system, which is located in about the middle of our brain. You see, the prefrontal cortex is our planner, telling us, oh, you need to do this because later it will come in handy. But our limbic system is what is tied into our pleasure center a lot and seeks immediate satisfaction, like checking your social media. Our prefrontal cortex needs to be worked at all times, otherwise it's not in use, but our limbic system can pretty much go on its own and seek its own desires. That's why procrastination happens, because you're not thinking about being on track and what you need to be doing. It's just kind of an instinct, as you can say. To help stop procrastinating, it comes down to five things I've thought of. One thing you can do is turning off all your sounds, like making your cell phone silent or even off, and turning your computer sounds all the way down so you don't hear that email ding. Another thing you can do is chunking your work, like cutting down a tree. Sometimes you need to cut off some branches before you can take on the rest of the tree. Just do small chunks at a time, you know, like do 20 minutes now, take a five minute break. 20 minutes now, take a five minute break. A third thing you can do is telling other people you're going to do it. That way, you will most likely follow through to not embarrass yourself. Because when you don't follow through on something, it looks bad on you, and you usually embarrass yourself. A fourth thing you can do is doing the hard stuff first. If you have a five page paper and a two page paper to write, write the five page paper first. And then you have something easier to look forward to after the five-page paper to do. And the fifth final thing to do is setting like a 10-minute timer. And make sure you're really focused during that 10 minutes. And usually what happens after that 10 minutes is you're so focused in your subject that you're going to continue doing it until you're done. Which I do quite often because I procrastinate a lot. And when I can have 10 minutes to do something, I usually do it. I hope you learned a lot about procrastination because that's what this video is about. And if you didn't learn anything, well, I feel like a failure. And don't make me be a failure, please. Because I know you're not a failure. Unless you're not doing your work by procrastinating. And which means you should probably go do your work right now instead of finishing my video. I guess if you want to stick around, I can give you a monologue from your good man, Charlie Brown. Book report, if you've ever heard of it. Small learning. I can't sing that well, but you can bear with me. If I start writing now when I'm not really rested, it could upset my thinking, which is not good at all. I'll get a fresh start tomorrow when it's not due till Wednesday, so I'll have all of Tuesday unless something should happen. Why does something always happen? I should be outside playing, getting fresher and sunshine. I work better under pressure, and there'll be plenty of pressure if I wait till tomorrow. I should start writing now, but if I start writing now when I'm not really rested, it could upset my thinking. So yeah, thanks.